All right, guys, welcome back to Dirty Diesel. Today we're going to talk about um, when you're connected to the computer on Cummins ISXs or any Cummins on, yeah, ISX 15s, 13s. Um, so uh, in the truck in the Freightliner Cascadia, on the driver's side, you see we have these nine pins, diagnostics, commonly go through here. But um, I can recommend if you're going to do any um, like uh, updates on or parameters in the Cummins, uh, there's a couple things you need to find. Um, you could do it through there, but there's a risk that it might drop out for programming. And I've had this done to myself. My place is a little different, but you have to do a call a recovery on a Cummins ECM from a ROM boot boot state. So it, it's a whole process. You got to like. Re First, you got to uh, hopefully you recovered when you first connected. You save a uh, parameter file when it first connects to Cummins, and then you had you had to call. A, you either have to go to a dealer or there's some place you can call to recover. And it costs money to get a uh, recover in a Cummins round boot from ECM. ECM. It's called a recovering a Cummins ECM from a ROM boot state. Clearly, I'm not really. Um, uh, my words are getting all mumbled. <laughs> the early morning. So the, one of the reasons is it can uh, interrupt the download or go out. There's a couple couple things. Uh, Freightliners. People always now have uh, Qualcomm's or uh, anything to read them. Anything. A lot of things that are connected to this data link now. Um, there's tons of stuff people are putting putting into communication links. And another common thing is when people are doing diagnostics. Um, most companies, you're supposed to have like a, um, I guess you could have a battery charge, but they, it's called a maintainer for your battery levels. When the battery levels drop out too low, um, if you're using a wireless uh, uh, service connect connection, um, if you draw, uh, draw below, uh, below 12 volts, 12.76 volts, Below, way below that, um, you can lose communication. So it's, you've got to have a good maintainer on your on your batteries for uh, when you're doing any service testing. It's just good practice to do it anyways because you get accurate readings. It's called a battery maintainer. Um, just keep the voltage above 12.67 um, or higher. Um, so I'm going to show you. There's another way if you can do a Cummins where the this was called right here. It is called uh, a J1939 data link. And it is, they call it service, da service to data link. So let's go, I'll show you exactly where that's at. <laughs> Guys, all right, here we go. On the Cummins ISX 15s, <clears throat> or the smaller uh, six cylinders, or the or the smaller ISX speeds. Let's connect those under here. Be over here, under here. Get right up here sometimes. Be in this area. Try to just point the light over there. In this area. And they like straight trucks, M2s, and stuff like that. The the K will be over here. In this area, along the the wiring harness. Um, the left side driver's side of the engine. Alright, and then on the ISX X's, this is it right here. Little, see how I showed you before? You just take it. This is the service, uh, what do they call it? The service link 36 data link. When you're doing doing troubleshooting. Let's see if we can get it off here. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, get it off there. There's a little thing you push right here. Pin push in there and then you pull it out. Alright. Wrong! Okay, there's the uh, J1936. No matter what, any diagnostics that's hooked up to this way. 
but if you're going to do any programming or parameter changes, uh, make sure you, you're hooked up to this wirelessly. Not wirelessly, sorry. Make sure you hook up to this uh, directly wired. Uh, got to use USB, USB connection. Wired USB. This will drop out, and then you got to do that whole Cummins ROM boot system, and that costs you, cost you some money. So on the Cummins ISX system, the driver side ship, it's on the driver side of the engine. Uh, on the rear top, my uh, intake manifold right here. So there you go. There's a, a J1936 uh, Wrong. connection. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching Dirty Dinks Mechanic. Please uh, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks. Thanks for watching again, guys. Right in the middle. And you could please subscribe to my channel and the videos on the side. We'll link you to other interesting videos and more to come. Try to get one out at least once a week. And thanks for watching.